Welcome back to Morning Blend. I'm Kirsten Holmes. And I'm Walt Gray. Time to get to all of today's national and local top stories in five minutes. Let's quickly get into Daily Blend. Brittany, watching the roads for us. Yeah, that's right. We're watching dollars and cents as well today when it comes to gas prices. Want to save a little bit of money. This is Watt Avenue at Fair Oaks. As you head out, just keep this in mind for gas. It looks like... Yeah, the average right now in Sacramento is about $3.69 a gallon. And of course, you always have your options when it comes to filling up. So we'll continue to update you throughout the day. $3.39 at that intersection for you now that we can see it. All right, let's go back to the maps. You can see we are in the green and green is good. It means for the most part, everybody is still going the speed limit. However, just in Merced, I'm still watching a horrific accident. This is a deadly accident after a car crash and caught on fire and someone was trapped inside their car. Santa Fe Avenue near Franklin Road. If you live or work in this area, you'll want to take 99 to avoid some of those delays. Roseville into downtown Sacramento, as promised on 80, we are looking at 15 minutes. Natomas into downtown, we are looking at nine minutes. Ooh, Rob, it looks like people are speeding in Natomas, 71 miles per hour. And, the, and their excuse, I was just going with the flow of traffic. Uh -huh. The officer yep. says, clearly, then you can get a ticket like everybody else. Hey, check this out. The Japanese maples are looking good. When they go yellow, that tells us something. That tells us that we're deep into the rainy season and it should be raining. And you know what? Today we're getting a day off. All the days prior, it certainly was. And by tomorrow evening, it's back on. Uh, there's a lot to get to, but just look at this storm. I mean, it's a deep low. It's a grinder. It's got all the moisture and there's nothing to stop it. So this is going to happen. You got to plan on it. Don't plan on it not happening. What we're going to have is some patchy fog this morning. The winds are calm, so it's easy to do that, especially after post rain. And we got a lot of rain yesterday, just so you know. It lasted a lot longer than even I was expecting, but you know, that helps the rain in the rain buckets. 50s now, 60s later on. Let's focus on the rain. The rain is really important because I think on a weekend, we've got a lot of travel and this is gonna last for three days. So everyone wants to know, well, when should I leave? Well, I would leave today or I'd leave tomorrow morning. I would even leave tomorrow early afternoon, but by, by tomorrow evening, it's this combination of valley rain with wind. That's hard to see. There's usually lots of crashes and in the mountains, I think by late Friday night and definitely early Saturday morning, it's so windy and snowing so hard, there may be momentary road closures in addition to all the chain controls. So leave earlier, not later. That's my advice. Walt. All right. Thank you very much, Rob. A Stockton man is demanding justice after he says he was beaten up in the San Joaquin County Jail by correctional officers. Jacob Servin says photos were taken after he was released from the jail Monday morning. He was arrested Sunday for public intoxication. He says when he got to the jail, three officers assaulted him. It's tossed around. They tossed me. 20 minutes, 30 minutes. Like, you have to punch somebody a lot for this to happen. We also talked to the San Joaquin County Sheriff, Pat Withrow, in an exclusive interview. He told us Servin was verbally abusive and refused to cooperate with officers, and then things got physical. Grabbed hold of the female officer and uh, refused to let go of her uh, during the fight and tried to drag her to the ground. Uh, he kicked uh, several other officers in the chest and other parts of their body. My officers, uh, we, we book 23,000 people approximately a year, and uh, uh, we don't have complaints like that uh, ever. So the sheriff tells us the investigation into what happened is well underway. You can watch our extended interview with Jacob Servin. It's on our website, abc10.com. Kirsten. 535 right now. Let's get to some other top stories for you in your daily blend.